असलकुम व्यूअर्स क्या हाल है ठीक है टू डे माई टॉपिक इज इक्वल सेट्स विच इज फ्राम द बुक सेट थ्योरी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिफाइन दिस डेफिनेशन टू सेट्स ए एंड बी आर सेट टू बी इक्विलेंट सेट इफ देयर एग्जिस्ट अ फंक्शन एफ फ्राम ए टू बी विच इज बाइजेक्टिव मीन्स वन टू वन एंड ऑन टू देन वी से A equivalent to B, where the relation is called relation is called equivalent relation. And notation. is called tilt now we going to we are going to explain a theorem related to this topic the title of the theorem or the statement of the theorem is this and equivalent relation is an equivalence relation it has an other statement the relation between sets of being equivalent to is an equivalence relation both are the statements of the this theorem and both have the same meanings we will write the first statement and prove this theorem first of all we will discuss what we have to prove here we have to prove that an equivalent relation is an equivalence relation first of all we will know that what is equivalent relation and what is equivalence relation here e q u r equivalent relation equivalence relation in equivalent relation we have to prove two things first it is it has a mapping or a function in this we have to to prove equivalent relation between two sets suppose a and b 
there exist any function suppose f is a function from a to b so we have to prove that number one f is one two one number two f is on to that is called bijective mapping if these two conditions proved then we can say that two sets a and b are equivalent and we write a is equivalent to b now we will know about equivalence relation in equivalence relation we have to prove three state three conditions for any two number one <coughs> reflexive condition number two symmetric number three transitive these three conditions are also called the properties of equivalence relation now we know about the equivalent relation and equivalence relation we have to prove that we have a relation any relation between any sets which is bijective means one to one and on to we have to prove that that relation is reflexive symmetric transitive now first of all we will prove that the relation is reflexive for this reflexive let a be a non empty set for reflexive we have to show a is equivalent to a but according to our given condition we are also given that for and a is equivalent to a according to the given condition there exist a mapping which will be identity mapping i from a to a such that i of x is equal to x for all x belongs to a by the given condition this mapping is bijective since i is bijective according to the given statement equivalent relation a is equivalent to a so there exists a mapping identity mapping i from a to a such that i of x is equal to x for all x belongs to a this implies that a is equivalent to a means reflexive property holds now we will explain the second property or prove the second property which is symmetric property
for this according to the symmetric property we have to show that two sets a b a a and b a is equivalent to b so b is equivalent to this implies b is equivalent to a now let a and b be two non empty sets also a is equivalent to b therefore there exist a mapping f from a to b which is bijective such that f of a is equal to b for all a belongs to capital a since we know that inverse of a bijective mapping is also bijective therefore f inverse from b to a is bijective that is b is equivalent to a now that is the condition we have to prove b is equivalent to a f inverse of b is equal to a for all b belongs to capital b now the third property of this theorem which is known as transitive property we will explain the transitive property according to the transitive property of equivalence relation any set a which is equivalent to b and b equivalent to c this implies that a is equivalent to equivalence to c that is we have to prove this condition now we have to prove this condition for this let a b and c be three non empty sets also a is equivalent to b and b is equivalent to c this is capital c therefore there exist exist two mappings named as f and g f from a to b and g from b to c such that f of a is equal to b for all a belongs to a and g of b is equal to small c for all 
B belongs to capital B. Also, these two mappings are bijective. Because we suppose that these two sets are equivalent. So that's why mapping is bijective. Why we suppose that A is equivalent to B and B is equivalent to C? Because our condition is this, an equivalent relation is an equivalence relation. That's why we suppose that A is equivalent to B and B is equivalent to C. Now we will prove that A is equivalence and equivalent to C. By proving this, we prove that the transitive property holds, otherwise the transitive property will not hold. For this, we suppose a composition mapping of two bijective mapping. We suppose the composition mapping of two bijective. mappings F and G we explain on above the composition we write the composition by this G O F from A to C capital C such that G O F small a is equal to small c for all a belongs to capital A. Since we know that composition of two bijective mappings any two bijective mappings is bijective therefore the composition mapping GOF from set A to C capital C is bijective by proving the mapping is bijective so according to the mapping A is equivalent to C by the definition of equivalent set A set A is equivalent to C we prove our condition that if A is equivalent to B and 